In this video tutorial, we will discuss using the Ricoh Theta V camera to take 3D or 360 photos of your listings. 360 photos are much more engaging and exciting to consumers as they can click around and move from room to room, which cannot be done with standard listing photos. The first thing you need to do is open up the camera, plug it in so it can get charged, open up that manual, start reading it, and get really comfortable with how exactly this works. There is an app you'll also need to download, so make sure you do all of that ahead of time before you make that appointment to take the photos with your client. Another great thing you can do, a practice round or two in your own house. This will get you much more comfortable and confident when using this camera in one of your client's homes. Something that's not included with the camera that you will need is a monopod or a tripod. If you have a tripod already and you need to get going, go ahead and use it, but a monopod is actually best. The difference here with a monopod is that it has a solid, heavy base and a light top. So let's take a look at the camera close up. This right here is actually the button you hit to take photos. Ideally, you do this on the Ricoh camera app though. Make sure you've already fully charged the Ricoh camera. Once you have, the power button is right here. You'll see that it turns red and things start lighting up. This little Wi-Fi indicator signifies that it's currently looking for my mobile device. If you don't see that, blinking and you're trying to connect your mobile device to the Ricoh camera, you have a Wi-Fi button right here on the side of it. This turns the Wi-Fi on and off. You'll also see that there are lenses on both sides of the camera. Again, it is taking a 360 view. So when you take these photos, it's best to get out of the room and use the Ricoh Theta app to capture the photo you want. What that allows you to do is to stand it up without the legs pointing out, and it will stand on its own. Once you set it up, get out of the room and use the Theta app to take the photo. Make sure that the photo is complete before you return into the frame. Be especially careful when using the monopod outdoors. If it's slightly windy, there's a chance it could blow over. So make sure to set it up and get that photo taken quickly so that you can reduce the chances of that. Good lighting is extremely important. Try to make sure that you're doing it during the day so that you can open windows and have some nice natural light. If that's not an option, turn on as many lights as you possibly can. Even the light from a lamp or some ambient lighting is better than no lighting when you're taking 360 photos. In this case, more is always better. If you're worried you might not have the right shot, take multiple photos. That way you don't have to go back later to redo something. For example, in this kitchen, we're currently in the dining area. Then we have a kitchen, which leads to a hall. With a kitchen this size, we would probably take a photo here and a photo on the other end of the kitchen. Something else I could do is take a photo right in the middle of the island. Remember though, when you are taking that photo in the island, you're going to need to adjust the height of your monopod because we don't want it way up in the sky. Smaller rooms like bathrooms are much harder to shoot, especially if there's reflections like mirrors or glass from a shower. Try to move the camera in a spot where it's not going to see the reflection, get out of the room, take the photo, and you'll see you have a much better result with your photo. If you're in a room with really strong natural light, turn the lenses away from the direct light source. When you do go to take the photos, make sure that all pets and people are out of the way. Otherwise, they will appear in the photos and they might look a little ghostly. Have you been getting wavy lines instead of horizontal? It's important to have the camera upright, not tilted. Otherwise you will get wavy lines and they won't look so good to the viewer. Invest just a few dollars in a photo editing app. There will be times that you need to make small corrections to photos. Touch Retouch is a great one that I already had downloaded. Once you've taken all your photos with the Ricoh Theta camera, 
you will then transfer those photos onto your computer or your cell phone. To transfer the photos directly to the computer, simply plug in the included adapter into the camera and the other end into your computer. If you're needing to edit any of the photos, transfer the photo to your phone to edit it there. This can be done through the Theta app. The last step is to take those photos and upload them into the 3D Builder tool. You'll log in to your members only portal, go to my listings, hit action, and the very last option you'll see is 3D gallery. From there, you can upload any photos that are currently on your device. You'll upload these photos by clicking add photo and you upload photos like you would in any other case. Once you've uploaded all your photos, the next step would be to connect the areas and rooms. You'll be able to take those photos and attach them to other photos to make one streamlined 3D tour. You do have sections at the top for multiple floors as well. Once you're done, you can click Publish and preview your new 3D tour. So hopefully this helps get you started with taking 3D or 360 photos of your listings. You can always email us if you have any questions and don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe on all of our social media platforms for more tips and training videos.